what is going on guys my name is Ben how are you guys doing today and uh, I do apologize for this video uh, not being posted yesterday therefore I'm posting it today I did tweet out uh, a reason why that <laughs> was occurring but you know I do appreciate you guys uh, sticking with me so without further ado let's get started so there was this article that I read which you know was talking about Apple's rumored <laughs> electric vehicle and it looks like you know they are in the process of uh, building the thing but it won't be coming out until uh, a few more years. So again, you know, in terms of the Apple car, I'm still a little bit skeptical on how that's going to work out because, you know, every time I think of Apple, it's like a, a technology company. And now they're going to become an, uh, an automaker. Uh, you know, it's like, um, okay, so, uh, how are they going to implement that electric vehicle out there for the consumers to drive? If you guys understand my point, you know, now, what I'm trying to say here is like, okay, what is it that Apple could do to revolutionize the auto industry like they did with the technology industry? Because they're two completely different <laughs> industries. And, you know, for Apple to jump into this, I'm not 100% sure how it's going to work out. But apparently, with this electric vehicle that they're, they're developing, you know, apparently they want to revolutionize the... Uh, the charging methods. So you guys know an automaker called Tesla. Tesla uh, is an electric vehicle automaker. And basically, uh, you know, their charging setup is pretty much, you know, from what I've read, is pretty much well thought out, I guess. But, you know, the way uh, you keep your car charged is just to find a nearby charging station, plug it in, and then you charge it. That's it. And, you know, apparently with Apple's charging network, you know, they feel like they can be better than that. And they did hire uh, um, a, a charging expert that used to work for BMW, I think. I'm not 100% sure if he's still working for them right now. But the link to that article will be in the description below. You can read more about it. And, and you know, basically, uh, Apple... Uh, people are saying that Apple's uh, charging network will be better than what Tesla has implemented out there for their uh, vehicles. Uh, now... Is this really going to happen? Well, at first I was thinking, why would it happen? I mean, uh, Apple has no experience in uh, making a vehicle. Uh, and, you know, uh, as I keep finding articles about this, it looks like it is going to happen. Apple is in the process uh, of making this happen, but it's going to take them a few more years. And in terms of the charging methods, not 100% sure how that's going to work out because... Uh, so far like because everywhere I drive so far I don't see a charging station for electric vehicles but that might be because that uh, okay yeah, you know I'm on the uh, east coast of the United States therefore I don't see too many electric vehicles around in fact I, I haven't seen any at all I mean I've seen hybrids but that's pretty much it. So what I'm assuming is that all the electric vehicles would be on the Pacific coast of the United States and maybe at some other regions of the country itself as well as outside of the U.S. So that might be a reason why I don't see too many um, electric vehicle charging stations. Um, uh, er everywhere I go, I always see gasoline stations. That's it. Um, but obviously those still exist. So if you're not a fan of electric vehicles, that's fine. You still have the regular gasoline vehicles that you can go uh, and get yourself. And then, you know, just spend money on, on gas to fill those things up. And as far as the electric vehicle is concerned, um, you know, I've never driven one um, myself before. But uh, you know, I, I'm pretty sure, like, there's got to be a better way to keep these things charged without having to use a charging station. Because... Now that I think about it, how long does it take for a vehicle to charge electrically? It's not like with a phone, you know, you leave it plugged in for a couple of hours, then uh, it's fully charged. I would think for uh, a vehicle, it has to be charged within minutes. Uh, you can't just uh, leave it out there overnight charging for, you know, 12 hours, because what if you want to take these on a road trip? You know, I don't know anything about electric vehicles. That's why I'm saying things like these. And, you know, whatever I'm saying right now, maybe the problem has already been solved and you guys can correct me on that. 
No, I don't know. Electric vehicles are just not my my kind of vehicles, but that may change on the long run. You know, I just can't see myself okay using the uh, the the integrated display in my center console and then trying to check my email uh, uh, while I'm inside my vehicle because first of all, it's not safe, and you know, even if I'm parked, I don't have a problem with just opening up my phone and check email. Boom, done. That's it. You know, I don't need like the integrated display in my car to check my email. I just need it for navigation or um, the integrated vehicle controls, radio, uh, um, check vehicle status, you know, tire pressure monitor. You know, that's basically all I need it for. Whatever I do with my smartphone, I'll keep it on my smartphone. And, you know, whatever is in my car, I'll keep it with my car exactly the way it is. I don't need to have the best of both worlds into one device. I actually kind of like it separated, but that's just my personal preference. Who knows? It may change uh, on the long run. But, uh, you know, in terms of Apple's card to revolutionize electric charging, um, we'll see how that goes. So what do you guys think about this? You know, since Apple is in the process of making their own electric vehicle, do you think their charging methods will be better than what Tesla came out? Or do you think they're going to have the best out of every electric vehicle, uh, electric automaker out there? I'd like to see what you guys have to say in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Also check out the description below for my social media links, Twitter and Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.